Kim Gokin recently did a report. Uh, today is uh, Tuesday, yesterday, on Monday, July um, 8th, I think it was. She basically breaks down uh, uh, the financial system that she's been learning as she goes of who's doing what. And, and it's because layer upon layer upon layer upon layer um, of our Earth's system, the matrix, the, the system that runs energies on the planet are actually controlled and manipulated by higher, or we would call them demi, more advanced beings. We could call them ascended to us. So not all ascended beings are perfect. So we have like this quantum A artificial intelligence system. Now the Venusians, I'm thinking Kim may be talking like that, uh, they don't have any AI system there. They don't, they got in trouble with it and they don't want anything to do with it. Now, our AI system was programmed against this. And what I believe Kim is doing is she is correcting the alpha system on her own. And uh, that's a that's an incredible personal journey of itself. But um she was given this position in 2012 based on her DNA, and she did not know what the system was. There was a covenant that uh, would allow uh, a certain reptilian Draco-like being with different skin, probably handsome and charismatic on one level. Um, we've heard stories. I don't know, but... Um, he had to give his power over to an earth person and the earth person designated and chosen by who chosen by source was going to be Kim Gogan. Now the dark forces, those who had control and were using humanity, didn't want to give up the gravy train of loosh of money and of energy that um, would feed their narrative agenda. And it's hard for us to imagine what it was. But they skirted galactic law by creating a, a, a type of hybrid human uh, in the middle of the earth until they got to a group called the parents. These are probably fifth, fourth dimensional beings. I'm not sure. I couldn't be sure. But they are able to mate with humans and they would create what are called coven leaders. And these coven leaders would mate with other humans along those kind of bloodlines and create uh, coven members. And these were the elite of the society behind the scenes controlling what goes on in the world by creating corporations and certain things of manipulation and control where they would control food, communication, education, health. Uh, the entire financial system would be controlled to uh, you know, keep mankind on a treadmill of scarcity and lack, creating a bunch of things that don't even matter that could be more harmoniously and less toxic in our environment. They promoted unhealthy things to the point where not everything's unhealthy. It's a mixture. And um, we've created a system of reliance upon um, unsustainable, unhealthy, let's call them programs or uh, supply chains of distribution of goods and services that mankind has used. And how this is, has been run is on many tiers and many levels, uh, encouraging uh, people who are reaching a certain level of business to empower them to go more if they will just add a spartamine to their drink or to put a preservative or a dye or something unhealthy. The intention of the dark forces were to keep mankind at a lower level of awareness by having him drink fluoride by having put heavy metals in his food. And for God's sakes, for those of you who can look up in the sky, see that they're spraying us with something. And I don't want to go into that. We know that kind of stuff is going on. So what's happening now, that all takes money and power and people to do things. And in, uh, as I, I spoke to Tom Melville, Kim Gogan is the level 74 security for the planet as the office of the guardian, the highest military and financial responsibility on the planet, period. She's the temporary interim head of state of every country in the world, and she's the world's curator and 
get over it with your ego. It's just who it is. It's a temporary position, but it's one of the most powerful, influential positions on the planet. And Kim Gogan's integrity and spiritual um, tenacity and her attitude uh, of protection for humanity is an amazing thing to see and what God has put in that little, that kind of hot little body there uh, and how she's, I'm telling you, kicking ass on the deep state. So we start out in 2012 as she steps down, she doesn't, she thinks that he's going to help her run the system and teach it how to go. And she's going, okay. And he goes, well, let's just give them 10 years worth of financing. Now he never would have done that before. He always controlled piecemeal how much money went to who. And there was a whole plan with incredibly redundant systems, harnessing energy from vortexes on the planet. It's been a mess since Atlantis and portals closing and, uh, you know, there's always the light has always been here. It's been hidden and it's been working behind the scenes. And now is the time. And my job is the externalization of the hierarchy to explain to you that we're not alone. We never have been alone, never will be alone. And the hierarchy is an energetic kind of a celestialized understanding that beings in other realms and dimensions have different experiences and frequencies they're not burdened by many of the human emotional limitations nor the material kerfufflery uh, caused by the intruders to uh, to mess up our lives. And we want to blame everyone and all we do is get angry and hurt ourselves. <laughs> we need to just say, thank you, God, thank you, God, and choose a higher course and to not put ourselves down and to feel that we need to be punished. We need to recognize our magnificence, our beautiful uh, empowerment, and begin to use our consciousness and our awareness by projecting from our thought, words, minds, and deeds the frequency from a balanced harmonic sound system. You know, seven notes of musical scale, we have 12 meridians, 13 is the octave. If you go the half notes, seven, A, 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 A sharp, blah, 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 all the way up, you have 12 half notes. This is the frequencies and the energy in the body, the sound current. And when you're in the presence of these beings, there's a sound current activated within you. Like Sai Baba and many, uh, I've met some other teachers. Uh, I'll say uh, Norm, Norm Paulson, um, I'm sure Paramahansa Yogananda had it in spade, but even Fred Bell and some others, uh, uh, Samyasi, when when you're in their presence, it's called the Nada Shringa uh, Shabda, sound current. It's the neural life illumination force that's transmitted. So when all the Indians are going there and they're praying, you know, to the guru, it's the guru doesn't ask for prayer. He just is there as a light bulb. He's a present. He's like a tuning fork. And he's going, and you're, you know, when I went to see him, I just, whenever he came on stage, I kept my eyes glued on him and I would just breathe and I was just watching everything and feeling the frequency of awareness. And uh, so I, I want to say the Venusians, I asked about Sai Baba to clarify this. And, and here he is. I, you know, there's some miracles that occurred around him. I, I won't go into those too much. It'll be my book, but. Um, so what happened was, is uh, they said, uh, they said he is an anointed one, but he's not Jesus Christ. And some people are saying, oh, Baba, you're the reincarnation of Christ. You fulfill the things. And uh, he said, no, there's one of the girls, one of these famous channels and said, he's Jesus Christ. And she was kind of in her, you know, she was in her connection to, to spirit in her talk. And she bumped up and she says, no, I guess I'm wrong. So Baba told me he's not Christ. So, um, um, but there are these world teachers and these various lineages of masters. And many of them, like Paramahansa Yogananda, was very powerful. And when I have a lot of people around a, uh, a, a great light like that, who are establishing their own connection to God, um, they maintained, even after he passed away, um, a um, 
a beautiful harmony. The teachings were so sound and so positive and all encompassing. He creates these beautiful gardens, these temples, uh, these um, uh, areas of promotion of the science of yoga and the teachings of the Upanishads, the Vedas, the Rishis, and the Bhagavad Gita, which is similar to the Bible in terms of uh, the hidden meanings. And he has a, a series of books, one by Yogananda, I highly recommend. You get the second coming of Christ. It's one of the most, It's the. this is better than the Bible for me. I personally uh, found so much love and inspiration in that book. Autobiography of a Yogi as well. And that takes us back to the beautiful woman in India and the Pyramid Society. Her father was very much um, a powerful being like that. And without money and donations only, the dude, his influence, if you look at the website, it's amazing. And it's spreading. And we're hoping to find a place up in here in Mount Shasta. So the vision I was given a long time ago, and it was reignited when I landed here in Mount Shasta in 1994. I landed on a piece of property called Morning Star, a beautiful place on the mountain. And um, uh, I'll leave it at that. I hope to return one day. Uh, but it's a, a beautiful energy up here. And um, I'm digressing a little bit. Let me get back to the fight with Kim Gogan and the financial system. So she's in there. She's dancing around. He goes, give the money. And she goes, okay, I'll give you the money. She didn't really realize it's hostile. She's looking to him for guidance. She gave him so much money, they could run the system. And they kept asking for extensions on their control of the various systems when the money or, or the system was to be turned over to her. And uh, as a human representative, as a sole person to program the quantum system, normally controlled by a being with 500,000 years of lifetime in the higher dimension that, you know, or even longer, I don't know, but these beings, um, very powerful, long lived in a different realm had a lot of power. So um, God is the only true power. And so whatever their their system was, it's being broken down now. So now you have a quantum system. And Kim Gogan didn't know anything about this coding and stuff. She's probably quite the computer. I'm sure she down talks herself a bit, but she um, has been learning this uh, computer system. And I've seen... Uh, uh, in the astral through the route of cinema books, the, they have these computers that they actually have a, a computer that projects a, uh, a holographic thing and you can move with your hands and it's connected to your consciousness. And I'm sure hers is, makes anything of that government uh, story is in the Transylvania sunrise series. And I think it was um, uh, maybe um I think it was a uh, first uh, trip to Egypt or journey to Tibet inside the earth. One of those books, it talks about um, uh, the connections of these records and the computers that were used by the governments, very advanced. And Kim's uh, system is completely, you can't even imagine what it is. It is a tremendous the powerful energy system, which has been filled with darkness. It's had programs and residual uh, connections to all kinds of stargates and earth-based technologies set up by elite corporations and fallen traders to the earth. So this is your kind of prehistory here to the new global system that's coming forward. You have to understand that the earth has fallen and the demons had been in control of the planet. I'm going to cite Christ when he was baptized and he went up to the mountain and he was meditating and praying. Lucifer, Satan, appeared. The, the emissary of Lucifer or Satan, who was cast down, um, appeared and said, yeah, wow, raising people from the dead at the age of seven. You're you're talking to woo. look worship me i can give you everything 
<laughs> and Christ said, get behind me, Sam. He didn't argue. He didn't say you didn't own the world. He did. These covenants of these fallen beings, including Solomon and some of the other responsible people that we've heard about, and not even knowing what these principalities and powers that we have wrestled with have influenced our flesh and corrupted the systems. It's now mankind's time to just shake it off like a binge in Las Vegas and to get a new healthy regime, a spring cleaning for earth. And let that be, let you be aware that that's been taking place in uh, a one person cricket, baseball, football, uh, rugby might be more like it. Uh, any competition you can think, there has been the deep state, uh, other beings uh, from other worlds, very advanced technologies who've been working very hard against Kim. Now, Kim must do this on her own, as humanity must now step into the position of responsibility for itself. They do not tell her what's coming. They do not... Um, um, Maybe some of them don't even know what's coming and that her position is very unique. But she was put in this position and she started to learn to use the quantum system. She started to reprogram the system and take down anything that was in violation of what she understood as right and wrong, dark and the light. And she's been given, uh, as she's gone forward, she's been given certain parameters and certain rules about her position, which... Uh, she doesn't have time to tell, but she's been over the last, uh, since 2015, I think she came out publicly. Um, I heard about her and I dismissed her. Someone said, hey, I know a girl is in charge of the financial and the military system. And and uh, I go, well, yeah, she's in control of the money. I go, really? And I said, and I go, how do I learn about her? And you have to subscribe to her thing. I said, subscribe? And she's in charge of money. No, thanks. I just... I put that one on the back burner um, because I need logic and I need understanding and I need truth. And I know how certain things work. Uh, not nearly as much as uh, you think, you know, as Semyasi said, you think, you know. And um, when I finally listened to Kim, I think it was late 2017 and 2018, I started following. I think I've heard almost every word she said. And she's been explaining this fight. She's up at cricket at two in the morning and one in the morning. It's, you know, it's um, it's uh, rugby down in Australia. And then it's something, you know, it's sumo wrestling. And, and she's fighting these powers that be. And these powers that be run the world's military systems. They run the world's governments. And it's all coming through the money chain that goes through the various systems that have been set up and controlled entirely on an agenda of fallen beings. They created such a strict, hierarchical, rigid structure of rank and file that no one can go above their pay grade and must take orders. From the Joint Chiefs of Staff down to the military, and it has been a real S show, hasn't it, folks? creating wars for profit while they're feeding the human energy money system has gone to building weapons of destruction to kill humanity and even mass destruction. It goes into creating computer systems of control to limit freedoms, to poison food. Everything has been on a very negative system. You get it? Did you see the did you see the leaders of the America, one of the strong stars of the free world, allegedly debating? My God, do you have any hope for, for the for the Trumpster or, or for the political system as it stands now? It's all a joke. They have no power. There's some people intended and they're well intended. They're just sitting around there. It's a giant theater. It's like a soap opera where nothing ever gets done. And it's like a bunch of, it, it's like a reality TV show, like Real Housewives of Orange County. It's enthralling if it wasn't so pathetic. So let's start taking ourselves up to a galactic level of understanding and responsibility that we all have in the creation of our new world. We're not going to rely on those governments to do anything. And I'm going to tell you, they aren't going to have any money. 
right now, there are tremendous numbers of scientists working behind the scenes, creating a new uh, system, financial system for us. This is not the Great Reset or the Dinar and the Danong and the promised death and destruction of the fanatical, allegedly Christians who want to fulfill prophecy by <laughs> killing everyone. It's insane. So the Satanist anti uh, system has been taken down. It's no way it can come back. They have no power and they're running out of money and no one will listen to them if they don't have money. They made a lot of promises and all they're promising is death and destruction for humanity. And it's time those people who listen to them and follow their orders step down. Now, the system of control of who tells who what to do has always been through what are called operatives telling assets, a.k.a. government officials, what to do. This is what's going to happen. This is what we're doing here. This is the plan. And they fulfill that action. They get out there and they, like an actor, read their script and get you sold on what they're doing. And it's never going to happen the way they present it. They're very comfortable with lying and cheating and stealing. And they make a lot of money uh, doing it. So they don't have anything to offer you. And I'm not saying that there's not some good people in there, whatever their ideology is or whatever. Uh, some of them, I'm going to tell you, are not human. Some of them are maybe other beings that have technologies to make you think they're human or even rubber mask or some, things like this. So um, there's a real, like I said, S show going on in the world's political stage, even in the alt news media. So it's important that you understand the situation report. We're getting, we're, I don't know how many rounds this fight has been going 12 years, day and night. And Kim Gogan has been, the quantum system has been with her programming. Imagine a giant uh, smoke cloud bubble. And Kim Gogan is an ionizer at the bottom. And at the top, smoke is pouring in from the lower astral. Systems of control. And she's been removing systems all the way from the bottom, all the systems of control that would work on your energy, your frequency, ELF, very long lined uh, frequencies that can help program the humanity and you know make whales and dolphins swim up on the shore when it's used in the ocean. So technologies and satellites to control the weapon, weather beam weaponry to create false flags, mind control false flags, uh, media created false flags that create an atmosphere of fear and confusion. So don't listen to them. Listen to God in your heart and focus on researching the truth. Don't listen to what comes from mainstream media. There's some people out there that are telling the truth of various levels and have their own understanding of what's taking place. And some people are, uh, you know, putting a lot of embellishment on their experiences if they don't, you know, you know, I'm not really sure where some people are going there. There's a lot of different extraterrestrial agendas and um, each federation has an agenda. Each system has an agenda, each planet within that system and each ET working with a human has a uh, agenda. The Venusians prefer to just bring truth and let mankind assimilate and make his own decision and that's really where we have to come as these contacts uh move forward so at this point kim has been explaining and if you can look at this on rumble we got to find united network earth and you gotta research i'm not gonna I, I can't play all of that stuff for her but it's amazing and what i have learned from her is her integrity and her tenacity and her absolute iron will um, in what she does. And, you know, there's a lot of the same themes going on. She's working all night. It's She has alarms in the system. She wakes up and uh, she's frazzled at both ends and she is seeing a lot of darkness. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to say not everything she says is exactly true and exactly real. I'm not going to emphasize anything that, that I feel is different. Um, but um, she doesn't know anything. I don't know everything. And I don't know everything. And no one knows everything. But um, 
I trust uh, uh, my information comes from uh, the Venusian and the solar hierarchy of light of the Galactic Confederation of Light. Tom Melville, who I spoke with recently, and some of the things he, he told me uh, I was sharing with you, the control uh, of the financial system is, is very rigid. And uh, the people that don't get their way have a lot of power and they can create a lot of problems for humanity and, uh, and inside violence. So the idea is to slowly undermine their system to be able to get money uh, to the counties. It'd be a series of small county city states where money is given and we can decide what we want to do. And like I said, uh, we want to get those, you know, uh, hydroponic gardens, uh, creating food of heirloom quality tomatoes free, stagger the growth at the bottom of the warehouse uh, every day or once every two days, food comes out and given to the population for free, heirloom quality, non-GMO, grown in a water vortex, natural light, enhanced growth technology, not any genetic altering. We need heirloom quality food. And uh, this is important for us to understand and protect um, our bodies and, and what goes into our bodies and realize that there has been programs inserting various technologies, we could say even implants or through certain techniques to turn you into a receiving station that would have a kill switch but is no longer around. So that system that would use that power to be able to mess up everyone and control you and turn you into a receiving station or corona vaccine, coronavirus vaccination ID, COVID. They told you right what it was. So um, we have to realize an unwinding of all of this, the programming is taken so long. Finally, the air is getting clear. She's starting, the smoke that's coming in is being shut off through a multi-pronged attack in higher dimensions and portals. Imagine them having supercomputers and Chichen Itza and Vortex things and cloning stations. And oh my God, these guys have gone crazy with these, these kind of extra dimensional toys and they've used them for power and control, manipulation and to cause suffering. So they're done. There's still some military. There's probably some terrorist activity. You look in, in Ukraine, there's still people doing bad things. The military has to stop taking these orders. We do have to arrest people that are doing violent things. And we arrest them, and then they have to take care of them and forgive them. And we have to dismantle those people that have had the power and the access to these big weapons. So um, this is our, our challenge here, is to wake up the military, to wake up the people in these positions of responsibility who've been paid handsomely to cheat and steal from humanity and to create a living hell on earth. It's not up to them. It's up to us. For every one of us, it's like, it's not even 1%. It's like, it's like a, a, a pinky toe standing on a board and, and we're all standing on the other end and all we have to do is step off the board and they fall into the abyss of irrelevance and the impotency because we refuse to follow their party line of control. Okay, so I've gotten on my soapbox there and Kim Gogan is beating them up. And uh, if you want to listen to this, it's amazing. She's explained, um, you know, I've been happy with some of the things she's explained. Uh, she's explained some things that's a little kind of technological, but she's talking about God and the image of God and how creation takes place from the causal plane she mentioned. This is talked about by Paramahansa Yogananda in his uh, book about Christ, where he talks about how the soul and everything is created uh, in the causal plane. And any individual could, could supersede that. The woman that she mentioned, the Artemis, the anti-source Pleiadian, um, had some control, but any soul, nothing could stop anyone from connecting with God and becoming a light unto the world and unto themselves. But uh, the majority of humans um, have been thwarted by that energy frequency. And now 
that covenant of control is gone. And I think we're very close to possibly getting finances. So with the, with the, let's call them the logarith a logarithm mathematicians working on creating uh, point of sale systems and a new financial system that's not get a penny drained here and delayed any transaction, the instantaneous free exchange of money without any fees that have always taken place. The haircuts given by the politicians to line their pockets for bills that allegedly are helping, which look good on the surface, which are not sustainable and end up being a cluster bomb with an F on the front.